Armenia is an amazing country in the southern Caucasus. A country characterized by grassy plateaus, majestic mountains, beautiful lakes, a country rich in the Christian heritage, but it's a nation with very poor economy, where people live very modest lives and don't need much to feel happy. Welcome to Extremely Locust Travels. Armenia, part 2, from Mount Aragats to Lake Seban. In the current episode, we will continue our journey through Armenia. We will present the beautiful Mount Aragats and its colorful surroundings. We will get to an incredible viewpoint of Mount Ararat. We will visit Horvirap State Sanctuary and famous monastery of the same name. Then we will continue our journey through central Armenia. Finally, we will reach the famous Lake Seba. In the previous episode, we started our adventure of exploring Armenia. We arrived here from Central Europe and we were immediately surprised by the condition of roads, the abundance of still-used Soviet cars, the modest appearance of the villages, the prevalence of bricks made of shit and grass, and the originality of fences made of car racks. On the way to the Argats Massif, we came across a creepy Argats research station. Now let's focus on the breathtaking nature of Armenia. Today we'll attempt to reach one of the peaks of Armenia's highest mountain, the extinct volcano Mount Aragats. The path to the southern peak is relatively easy, but there are no trail markings. Thanks to the lack of trees and the open expanse, it's relatively easy to navigate towards the summit. Despite the challenging growth conditions during the summer, one can come across a plethora of beautifully blooming plants in this area. At higher altitudes, the landscapes change significantly. Green meadows give way to fragmented rock formations, and the snow patches can persist throughout the summer. Rocky ridges are composed of quite hazardous, loose rock fragments. The ridges stretch far into the distance. And finally, there it is, the beautiful caldera of Mount Aragats. Aragats is an extinct volcano. Its last eruption occurred approximately half a million years ago. The Aragats mountain consists of four main peaks. The most easily accessible and the lowest of them is the Aragats southern peak. It is 3,888 meters high and can be relatively easily reached from the Kari Lake area. At the southern peak you can find a makeshift shelter which may be useful in case of bad weather. Next, there is a western peak with its height of 3,995 meters. It's accessible from the southern peak, but the path is quite dangerous because of loose rocks. The 
highest point is the northern peak, reaching the height of 4,090 meters. Theoretically, there is a path through a caldera leading to the top. However, due to the snow and falling rocks, it might be invisible and hazardous. The last peak is the eastern peak, and it is 3,908 meters high. Comprised of four peaks, Mount Aragat stands as the highest point in Armenia. Interestingly, Aragat is isolated from Armenia's other mountain ranges. The past presence of glaciers and post-glacial erosion processes play an important role in today's landscape of the volcano. Aragat is cut by glacier valleys, currently river gorges, up to 400 meters deep. The distinctive terrain and the reddish hue of the rocks make this place memorable for visitors. Undoubtedly, Aragats is a beautiful place. But we must continue our journey to see other fascinating places in Armenia. Luckily, the way down to the Kari Lake is not difficult in sunny weather. However, it's worth noting that the trails here are not marked and in bad weather it's easy to get lost. The landscapes at lower altitude by the lake are dominated by beautiful meadows. Many species of plants bloom here in early summer. Time to go towards one of the most known places in Armenia. On the way we have the opportunity to support the local businesses of children selling flowers prepared by their parents. The summer season is the only chance for them to earn some extra money. The road down the hill is much easier. It's very narrow but in quite a good condition. Our goal for today is to get to the famous Horvirab Monastery. So it's time to say goodbye to the Aragats Massive. I didn't suspect to find fast highways in Armenia. But around the capital city Yerevan, such roads can be found. Unfortunately, Yerevan itself is a poor city where at every step you can see that life isn't easy for people here. Most of the buildings are in rather poor condition. We quickly leave the Yerevan heading towards Horvira. On the horizon we already see both majestic peaks of Mount Ararat. We're in a hurry to catch the sunset. Finally, we arrive near the famous monastery. 
but while looking for a good spot to see the sunset, we end up at the cemetery. Fortunately, the nearby hills offer a good vantage point. Time to find a place for tonight's camp. Good night. We have a beautiful morning. The night was very warm, so instead of setting up a full tent, we only used the inner insect-proof layer. We are truly delighted by the view from the Aras River Valley to Mount Ararat. Let's go to the nearby hills to find a better viewpoint from Mount Ararat. From the hills you can perfectly see the valley of the Aras River and of course the majestic Ararat Massif towering over it. The Aras River Valley is a vast and fertile region which serves as a natural border between Armenia and Turkey. The fertile soils of the valley support agriculture. It's an essential area for the cultivation of crops and vineyards. The valley offers diverse landscapes including plains, hills, and the riverside areas, providing scenic views for those exploring the region. To the west from the Horbilap Hills there are wetlands. The green swampy areas sharply contrast with the dried slopes of the hills. This is the Horvirap State Sanctuary, a wetland and protected area located on the left bank of the Aras River near the Horvirap Church. The main role of the sanctuary is the preservation of this unique ecosystem of wetlands, especially water birds and their habitats or rare plant species. Many water birds have here their resting place during their seasonal flights. Some of them are considered critically endangered. The water swamp area creates a unique moist climate, contributing to the maintenance of biodiversity. The hills of the Horvirap are not the most well-known feature in this area. The most recognizable landmark here is the famous monastery, located southeast of the hills. The monastery positioned at the foothills of Mount Ararat offers breathtaking views of the majestic mountain. The historical roots of the Horvirap monastery date back to the early days of Christianity in Armenia. The monastery is famous for its association with Saint Gregory the Illuminator, the patron saint of Armenia. Gregory was imprisoned in a deep pit at Horvirap for about 13 years by the king Tirdatis III. Horvirap is a significant pilgrimage site for Armenians. Various religious celebrations and ceremonies take place at the monastery throughout the year. These events attract both locals and tourists. Horvirop is easily accessible from Yerevan, which often results in crowded conditions. 
From the monastery there is an incredible view of Mount Ararat. Thanks to this, her verb has been featured in various films and documentaries contributing to its global recognition. Time for us to leave this beautiful place and search for other extraordinary locations. The last look at Ararat and Horville Uphills. Today we'll try to get to Gingan Mountains famous for their red volcanic cones. On the way we encountered the first grocery store in the province where card payments were accepted. Further ahead we could admire the dry mountainous terrain to the west of the Gingan Mountains. The local vegetation here is sparse due to the limited rainfall. The most characteristic feature in this area is the Azat Reservoir. It's a nice scenic spot surrounded by mountains, attracting visitors for recreational activities and picnics. The road feather towards the Gegan Mountains is pleasant only for a while. After the village of Gegard, it will become impassable for a city car. But at least in the villages we can witness vintage Soviet cars that are still in constant use. Time to turn back to Yerevan and then to head towards the Seven Lake. Along the way we can once again admire picturesque mountain landscapes characterized by sparse vegetation resulting from the dry climate prevalent here. Once again we are passing through Yerevan. This time we've arrived at an exclusive district but we are seeking a connection with nature rather than luxuries. So our destination for today will be the famous Lake Sevan. The first stop we made by Seven Lake was at the Hyravank Monastery. The monastery is located at the southwestern shore of the lake. The monastery dates back to the 9th century, with some parts believed to be even older. Hyervank is known for its unique architecture, featuring a blend of early Christian and medieval Armenian styles. The monastery has been an important spiritual and cultural center in Armenia for centuries, attracting pilgrims' spiritual solace. Besides spiritual aspects, the monastery offers breathtaking views of the Lake Seven and the surrounding mountains. Time to continue our journey in search for a place to camp. On the way, we have the opportunity to observe the distinctive appearance of villages adorned with numerous gas pipeline tubes. The road around the Sevan Lake is in exceptionally good condition for Armenian standards. In the vicinity of the Lichk village, we decided to stray from the main road and use a very sandy road towards the lake shore. And here it is, the Sevan Lake. I hope this place will be nice for camping. Let's get a closer look at the lake. It's a beautiful lake, but unfortunately, its waters aren't among the cleanest. We decided to 
spent the night in a place where the Lichka River flows into the Sevan Lake. The river has much cleaner waters than the lake. The surroundings of the Lichka River are very picturesque. The day is about to end soon. Time to rest. In the next episodes we'll provide a more detailed presentation of the Lake Seven, its peculiar waters and the nearby wetlands. On our way back to Georgia, we'll visit many interesting places located to the north and west of the Seven Lake. Once again, we'll be amazed by vintage vehicles on the streets, by terrible roads, by original fences made of cars, and by omnipresent bricks made of shit and grass. But most of all, we'll enjoy Armenian nature like Lake Afri National Park. While going back through Turkey, we'll visit many unusual places in locations where tourists usually don't venture.